this just came in the mail. Up until recently, I've been using three of these uh, kind of hard shell cases to hold my cubes, um, but I recently ran out of space in them and just started filling up this plastic container. And it's kind of annoying because like when I'm doing videos, I need to go through and like dig through to find the cube I want. So I want another one of these. And this was like really cheap and it's a Moyu bag. So I thought that'd be cool. And while I'm reorganizing my cubes so they fit in here, I thought that I would do a cube collection. Let's eat this later. So yeah, uh, this bag, <laughs> literally just opened it, uh, except I messed up the recording, so I had to restart. But yeah, I saw a review and this should fit around 24 standard three by three. So I thought, yeah, while I'm reorganizing, uh, let's serve as a cube collection video. <laughs> I actually don't remember what most of these are. Uh, so probably go to the description. Maybe this is a dino cube. I don't know. I'll have them in the description in order. Anyway, that's cube number one. Next, I know this one is the uh, Clover Cube. I have solved this quite a few times. It's, it's just a three by three, but it is really fun. My favorite cubes are probably cubes that are so easy or so similar to a three by three that even though it's a new cube, I'm not actually doing anything different. And um, it feels good. Anyway, square one, don't know how to solve that. Tried one time, ended up just taking it apart. Polaris Cube, never cared enough to uh, mess that one up. We have the uh, Puppet Cube 1. What a fun puzzle. Definitely never messing that one up. Puppet Cube 2. Apparently this is easier, but still no. And yeah, I think it'll be a little tight, but it's got some cushion, so I'm not worried. All right, next is the Ivy Cube. Good cube. Solved once. Uh, next, we got the... Which is this? This is the... This is the windmill cube. You can tell because when it's in a checkerboard pattern, it looks like a windmill. Um, but next is its brother. Where is it? See, this is why we have the, we're organizing it. This is the Fisher cube, which is very similar. I've only solved this once by accident. And then the other like three times I've solved it, I solved it and then didn't want to do quarter orientation. So I just like popped the quarter off and put it back the right way. So that's fun. Uh, next, another very similar cube to that is the Axis Cube. Once again, that's another one that I simply took apart and um, put it back together. A lot of these are Chi cubes because they're so affordable along with, uh, I guess if they don't have the Chi logo, then they're probably uh, from Mofeng Joshi or Moyu. Uh, next, let's do, should we do useless cubes? I don't know if I want to put my normal 3x3s three in here. Maybe I'll put those in somewhere else. Let's do, let's do Force Cubes uh, and we'll organize this as we go. So I use the uh, Moyu Melong for a bunch of force cubes. And these three right here are actually gonna get stickered because I actually really love this cube. Uh, so I'm gonna sticker these ones. So I guess I'll put them in here for now, but I'll most likely uh, be leaving them out. Anyway, we got the yellow and, or that's not yellow, that's white and the yellow and the orange. Boom, and then I also actually did make force cubes with, see, now I don't know where anything is. Hold up, found them. Uh, some ch m macaroon uh, colored chi warriors, I think. Uh, and they should, I'm thinking, fit in here. I think it's just squished. Yeah, that'll be good. The thing is, I gave away two of these. Or I didn't give them away, but someone else is borrowing them. So that space will remain empty. Maybe I'll put my next cube in here. I really sh this is the one that I did the Thanksgiving uh, Day Lube video with. It's really bad. I really, like, I look in it and I cleaned it out. There's nothing, there's nothing wrong with it. There's like a little bit of schmitz. Nothing that bad, but it like, it turns super slow. And these, which are the force cubes, turn super good. So I don't know what happened to this. Actually, I'm gonna leave this out because I need to clean it. Anyway, let's put some more uh, three by three-esque cubes in here. We got the, uh, oh, see, I need all these cubes for projects. I guess that's why I'm organizing this. This, I also have stickers coming in for, except I'm going to unsticker this and re-sticker it with these like shades. And maybe I'll just put these stickers on here anyway, because this turns terribly. And I really love the concept of a Nightmare Mirror Cube, but I want it to turn well. So I'm gonna put those stickers and turn this into one. Anyway, I guess we'll put these here because, you know, we're just putting stuff places for now and we'll go from there. Boom, it'll be it'll be a little tight, but it's okay. This is gonna look sick afterwards. 
Uh, let's put in, hmm, I just don't know what cubes I want to put here. So I guess we have mostly three by threes in here. Eh, not really. We'll put a, we'll throw the, uh, my cube in here along with one last cube. Let's do the, hmm, let's do this thing. This is a, I don't know. It's just like an Ivy cube. I think it's also made by, uh, Moving Joshi or Moyu. I don't know why they have two, like these are the exact same cube, just different shapes. I don't, I don't know why. Anyway, let's put this in here. And now that is looking nice, nice and organized. Look at that. I love it. The next cube in here, Monster Go, EDU. This one is like so good. I love it. It's just so fast. I bet if I lubricated it, it'd be good. The thing is I had a Volk, um, a Volk M I think from like years ago and the lube made it so that way when I cleaned it out now, it's just like bad plastic. So I don't really want to lubricate all these cubes a lot. Anyway, GAN, uh, RS, I believe, Swift Block. It's the better version of that. Uh, this is the RS3M Super, which is really my main, but for organization purposes, we'll put that in here. RS3M 2020, very nice. This was in a recent short of mine. I put some uh, Traxxas 30K in it, and it's actually pretty good. I like it. All right. Rubik's brand, not even gonna do a, it's really not that bad, but I'm not gonna do a sexy move. Now this, I'm definitely not gonna do it. This is the dollar store brand one. As you can see, it's hollow. It's always fun. Let's put the more three by three shaped ones in here. Got the gear cube. It's so satisfying to turn. It's so nice. And almost, there we go. Put white facing up. Oh, this isn't, I guess blue is, white and black is white for this one right yeah and blue is blue i don't know anyway all right what are the three by threes do we have all right we got the blanker cube i mean i know it's not a three by three but it fits the same as a three by three so it's going in here and we do have the use and treasure box i guess you know honestly i think that works good because then we can still fit three Three by threes here. While we're going through the collection, this is not going to be put anywhere. This is what I record my videos on. Originally, I just had this stand, but then I wanted it higher, and so I taped it to my only six by six, which I think is like a tank or something. It's not very good. I need, if I ever want to solve it, I need to tape down um, these because they always come off. Or not tape down. I need to glue them down. I actually might do that later. Anyway, but yeah, that's what I use to record my videos. So this is going to stay right there. Anyway, for filling out this box, we can do. I guess my macaroon four by four, five by five. And then perfect, we'll put the mirror, yeah, a little fat. We'll do a normal two by two. Yeah, that fits nice and cozy in there. Another thing completely done. All right, so now we need some way to combine these into organized boxes. We already have the big cube box going, so let's organize this. We got the a really old 4x4 four four that I got a Goodwill at some point. A 5x5 five five, which is a checkerboard and a cube and a cube. This is Rubik's brand. It actually doesn't turn that, I mean it turns bad, but it's not like that bad. Um, let's put all the cubes next to each other. 2x3, which is the same as the banana. The banana actually turns better than this, which is kind of funny. This needs to be like loosened a little bit, I think. Let's grab the mirror 2x2, two two, the master morphix, the two by two, the fidget spinner one by three. Where's my other one by three? Oh, there it is, or one by three by three. The, the problem with this one is like, so on this one, you can do these turns or whatever, but if you do that on this one, these edges make it really hard. Uh, so as cool as the fidget spinner is, I'd get one of these just because it's better for solving. All right, uh, let's throw the Rubik's two by two in here. Uh, and this is more, less of a collection and more of just like an organizing kinda, I guess. I just wanna be able to like open up. My whole goal is just like open up and be like, oh, I need that cube versus like before they were in that box that was hard, it wasn't a single layer. And then let's, I guess for now, I don't know, I like this cube a lot. You know what? We'll, we'll, we'll put this in here. No, it doesn't really fit. Fine. All right, that's another one done then. Hey, 
And finally, we have the miscellaneous with some of these that have been in my mouth, if you've seen that video. And I don't know, I guess I threw away my other Moe screwdrivers, so I just have one left, which is fine. I don't need multiple. This will just be like my miscellaneous box. It's not very organized, but like, you know, a few one by threes. And yeah, I don't know, I guess that's my cube collection. Just wanted to organize them, showing it off a little bit, and because I haven't actually made a long form video in a while. So yeah, like, comment, subscribe.